All right, all right, all right. Let's see if the audio is coming through. And here's to be. All right, we are live. <laughs> Dang. It, it kind of always takes me by surprise when we actually go live. I hit the button, and because there's always the delay, I'm never exactly sure when it's going live. So I just kind of sit back and relax and wait for it to happen. <laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome back to Misfit Corner Scams. Once again, I am the artist known as Andrew speaking, and I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I hope everybody is having a great weekend. I am so excited. There's so much stuff going on in my life and in my world and in my small sphere of people that uh, lots happening, lots happening. As you guys know, I'm going to go ahead and start it off at the very beginning. We will not be live streaming this time next Saturday. I will be at my daughter's wedding this time next Saturday, having a fantastic time. Wishing you were all there with me, but you'll be there with me in spirit. So I appreciate it. Uh, but So we're going to go ahead and do a live stream on Sunday night. So next week, Sunday the 21st. I had to do the calculations in my head. But um, very excited. And then the following week... We are going to have a celebration of my retirement from my day job. It'll be fantastic. I told my wife, I just told my wife, I said, one of the things I'm looking forward to is after that weekend, sleeping in on Mondays. I'm looking forward to it greatly. Oh, oh, let me see. Uh, Avery's here. Let me bring him in. What's yeah. up? Sir? How the heck so, are you? Uh, oh, was was waiting on you that I had to go to the bathroom. Then you sent the link. Oh goodness gracious! I, I did that beforehand myself, so I'm I'm up to I'm I'm up to date and I'm thoroughly prepared to be here with you all. Um, I am so looking forward to sleeping in on a Monday. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot. Wait. Actually, it's not going to happen because we have cats who uh -huh. will literally sit next to my head and meow at me until I wake up and go feed uh -huh. them. So I, I already in my head, I'm going to wake up, go feed them, and then go back to bed. If that's even at all possible. I don't think it will be, but I'm going to try. How the heck are you, man? Uh, tired. Tired? Yeah, I, trust me. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Yeah. I, I, I've, just, I've, I've been kind of sick for the last couple of weeks, so it's like wearing me down. Yeah, I know. I know. Are you feeling any better now? or? No. No, it's okay. it, it's it's been very slow. It's been very weird. Usually, I'm over one of these flare ups by now. This one's yeah. just ha hanging out. Well, as you get older, things like that happen, you know. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Though. Yeah, it does. It does. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to start checking out the chat, see who's all here. I know there's a lot of good people in the chat, so let's check it out. See. Sarah's here. Sarah says, good evening. Happy Saturday night from rainy Connecticut. Oh, boy. We didn't get any rain today, which is a good thing because uh, it's it's nice outside. But uh, you guys are welcome to Florida anytime. Jacksonville or Jacksonville. We'll take you. We'll take you. Jim's here. Jim says, good evening, all. Happy warm Saturday evening from New Jersey. Welcome. Welcome. Sarah says, happy anniversary and happy birthday to anybody celebrating. Well, I'm sure somebody will chime in if that's happening. Tim says, good evening, all from sunny western Kentucky. Oh, very good. Welcome, sir. Jim says, good evening to Sarah. Glenn's in the house. Glenn says, don't forget to hit the like button. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Sarah's here and says, I just got home from a, from a work hard day. My mom died 10 years ago today. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, I'm, we're glad you're with us. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Smidgen's in the house. Hey, Smidgen, I got your email. I've been going through it. I've been reading some of the links, but I appreciate it. I, I know I haven't responded back to you yet, but I did get your email. I have read it, and I am checking out some of those sources. I was rather interested in the, the do not call list information. That is very, very interesting, especially the fact that those politicians wrote it into the law that collecting for them was okay and not against the law in order to contact people who don't want to be contacted. So they, tricky, tricky of them, you know? They always exempt themselves from the rules they want you to follow. But it's not them. It's their collection efforts for them getting money 
that they didn't yeah. exempt. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they exempt themselves. They yeah. find a way to exempt themselves from the laws they want everyone else to follow. And you know what? Scammers know that. Scammers use that, you know? <sighs> anyway, uh, Sarah says hi to Jim. Jim says uh, hello to Glenn. Uh, Free Freebird Bay City says, I got a scam call this week telling me I qualified for a $1,400 check from the government. I told them thanks, would call the government would call government about it and thanks for the info then hung up <laughs> that believe it or not that's literally the only call i got this week really um i i wasn't getting any calls like it was two days in a row where i got like one call and that was it and then i started reading the comments uh and a lot of people were saying the same thing they hadn't been getting any calls and then one of the uh, older gentlemen who shops at my store uh, who comes in every now and then he'll tell me about his adventures dealing with scammers. He came in this morning. He was like, Hey, have you been getting calls? Cause I was getting none. <laughs> Turns out, I believe it was some type, there were some Indian holidays that were happening this last week. And obviously they don't work during those holidays. So guess so. So I'm expecting the calls to start back up again on Monday. And uh, uh, I hope if you all got a very slow week with a lot of with very few calls that you enjoyed it because uh it's it's going to come to an end soon and they're going to start picking up again i had started to think maybe they finally gave up on me maybe they finally caught on but uh no it was happening to everybody they they weren't they weren't making any uh, they weren't making a lot of attempts so yeah there <sighs> there's there's so many of them and so many of them get shut down yeah and, and another one reopens. There's no way there's a collective list of people that they know don't bother calling because yeah, they're just going to yeah. make it's it, it the turnovers too fast. Well, they can try to share a list of people who you know, but I think a lot of them they just get the same numbers and they they just they just do their thing, you know. Which in my mind, that's perfectly fine. So. Manuel's in the house. Good evening, my friend Drew. Happy Saturday to you as well, sir. How are you? I hope everything is good. Dave says hi to Drew. Hello, Dave. Jim says uh, hey to Manuel. Manuel says uh, hello to Dave. Tim says I've been uh, um, uh, mourning the death of OJ. I've been watching Naked Gun clips. Okay, we were actually we were actually reminiscing um, about. Um, the Bronco chase and where we were when that happened. Um, Avery, I'm fairly certain you were with us. We were all at Six Pockets. Do you remember that? Uh, maybe. Not really. As I remember, it was me, Gerald, Todd. I thought it was you and Romel. But Could have been. I honest, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I, I just know I was at Six Pockets playing pool with my buddies while the Bronco chase was going on. So... And everybody, everybody, I think, I think it was just me and Romel were the only ones that were really paying attention to playing pool. <laughs> everybody else was paying attention to the TV. So, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, Sarah's here says, how many Fridays? Two. 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 Actually, you guys want to hear something even funnier? Um, I, when I logged in, uh, it was either Thursday or Friday. I don't remember what. I checked to see what my PTO balance, my personal time off balance was. And I had like, oh, oh, we lost Avery. I'm sure he'll be back. Um, my my balance was seven days. And I'm like, well, crap, I only have two weeks left. I got to use some of these days. So I actually, over the next 10 business days, I'm actually only working six. <laughs> oh, here he is. Let me bring him back in. Hey. Yo. You ghosted me. You ghosted me. Yeah, I... I I touched where my camera is on my screen and it just disconnected for some reason. Sometimes that's all it takes. Just just touch the technology and it, it warps out. Yeah. It's like it's like I was nowhere near the back button. I touched where a piece of tape covers the camera. Oh, okay. Ugh. Well, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I, fig I, I figure one of these days you're just going to say, ah, screw this crap and just leave and never come back. I, I I mean I have done that on live streams. Yeah. But I, I came back eventually. It's just I was like, okay, I'm tired. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well you, you Romel does that all the time. He's like, 
I'm out of here. Doesn't say nothing, yeah. just leaves. Yeah. He's so funny. He's so funny. Anyway, BB's here. Hey, everybody, she says. Welcome to the show, BB. Hello. Daniel says, hey to Jim. Glenn says, uh, I was first in hitting the like. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. BB says, congrats, Drew. Thank you. Thank you. I, we have so much. We have so much happiness coming to my life. We have my daughter's wedding next week. We have my retirement the week after. And then I'm going to go on a cruise with my wife for her birthday. And just. And then when we come back, we get back to work. Then when we come back, we're going to hit the real stuff. We're going to hit the stuff that really matters to me. And you're going to start uploading on the art channel and doing the I art am. live streams too. That's right. That's absolutely right. We're actually, um, we come back from the cruise on Saturday the 4th. I will live stream that night and let you know how it all went. Then there's Sunday at the store. And then Monday morning, we're going to revamp the office. We're going to set up the uh, a new a new drawing rack with, uh, with cameras over the drawing area. And uh, I don't know if I'll actually do my first drawing video that day. Um, but I'll definitely keep you guys informed. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to rock it, guys. I'm getting ready to rock and roll, and it's going to be fun. And we need to find a way to get the Hero Book 1, the, the full-color version, funded. One of these days, it will happen. It will happen. So, actually, I'm still working through redoing all the lettering. I, did, I think I got through when I stopped doing it, when I had to take a step away from it, I was like at least 50 or 60 pages in. I had already completed 50 or 60 pages. It's a shame so, we don't have the budget to hire someone like Eric. Yeah, I know. I can only afford me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Because Eric would knock it out and it'd look great. Yeah. Smidgen says, happy happy, win uh, happy wedding next Saturday. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Jim says, hey to BB. Manuel says, I'm doing good, Sarah. Uh, DJ Manny Fresh. I don't know who that is. Daniel says, uh, hi, crazy man. Ah! It's 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 my it's my it's my uh my partner in crime during my day job. How you doing, young lady? She's crazy. She's absolutely insane. And I'm 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 leaving everything to her. It's all hers. <laughs> BB says hey to Jim. Manuel says good good morning. Uh good morning Sunday. <laughs> I know he's probably talking to somebody in Australia. BB says hi to Avery. Hello. Dave says hello to Avery. What's this up? Be, this must be the point where you came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hello, everyone. Jim says good evening. Glenn says don't do the chicken dance for the da daddy daughter dance. No, we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be. She when I when I when I was talking to her, I said, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up there and move my butt. She's like, you do realize that the father daughter dance is a slow dance, and I'm like, okay, I respect you enough to follow your wishes and do that. But afterwards, there's nothing stopping this booty from getting up there and shaking. Oh, dear I, God. I, guys, you guys have seen the extent of my dancing abilities in my chair. There's not much more to it when I'm actually standing up. <laughs> it's like it's 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 kind of like if you throw a, a duck on a hot plate. A duck on a hot plate. <laughs> Or, or maybe it's more like when a, you cut the head off a chicken. Ah! No, I'm just <laughs> but neither is it's a, it's a lot of a lot of shoulder moving and 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 hip waving. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of movement. There's a lot of vibrations. That's called jiggle. <laughs> jiggle. That's exactly what it is. Actually, the wife and I, um, we went with another married couple friend of ours down to do you remember when you may not have remembered this i don't think you ever went there but when um universal studios had their their outdoor no it wasn't universal studios it was disney they had their pleasure island it was like a it was like a string of bars and dance clubs that you uh -huh. could buy a ticket to and go and just and we went one night and we went to di a couple of different dance places and the one we found that we liked the most of course was the eighties one. And uh -huh. we got up on the stage and the wife and I, we were, you know, we were doing our thing, but I really, I have no moves whatsoever. It's all, you know, just a little jiggling. That's it. That's my move. <laughs> it's so, like slapping a bowl of jello. That's right. I got a lot of jello here. <laughs> I was actually, I was actually watching, 
I was watching this one video of this young lady who was doing this dance and she's doing like this, these, this, this kick here and the kick there and move. And I'm like, no, nope, nope. I like watching it, but it ain't happening. And my daughter and, and her fiance actually did took dancing lessons to learn different dances. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Actually, they invited us. There was like a friends and family could come and join you for a session type thing. Uh, but then my wife tore her MCL and we never made it. We never went. Yeah. Um, man. So, you know, poo poo happens. Thank God. Cause I, 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 the idea of dancing. Whew. But as promised, as promised, there will be videos and I will share. Oh boy. So get ready. Smidgen says, Hey to Avery. What's up? Stan says, uh, always binge listen to your videos while doing house chores. Keep up the great work. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you for joining, Stan. Manuel says hello to Avery. What's up? And says to Smidgen, happy Saturday. And hi to Stan. BB says, hey to Manuel. Smidgen says, don't count on sleeping in late on your first retirement day. Your mind isn't set for it yet. Been retired six years now, and I'm still waking up at 5 a.m. I, I get that. Um, there was a time um, when I, I worked for a, another company. I worked for a credit card company for 23 years, and the job went away, and I got a nice big fat severance package, and, and, and I got to be retired for about a year and a half until I went back to work for the company I'm working for right now. And I still got up every morning like I normally do. But the one difference was I took a nap almost every day at noon. My dog and I would go lay down for about an hour and we would nap almost every day. And it was great. It was wonderful. I can't nap now. It just doesn't happen. Uh, mainly because the phone never stops ringing. <laughs> But, you know, that's part of the job now is taking the scam calls. But um, that's something I'm I'm looking forward to being able to, quote unquote, nap, being able to close my eyes and rest during the day. It probably won't happen that often, but we'll see. We'll get there. I probably won't sleep in. Smidgen, you're absolutely right. I probably won't sleep in. But I'm the idea that I could possibly do that brings a smile to my face. The idea of potentially sleeping in is wonderful, even though I know it's probably never going to happen. Manuel says, enjoy the Saturday, uh, Saturday, a beautiful day. Absolutely. Crow's here and says, yes, it's possible. I do it every day. Laugh out loud. Very cool. Jim says, hey to Crow. Uh, Manuel says, uh, hand waving to, to Glenn. Mohammed's here and says, Ebed Mubarak. Okay. I'm sure that there's meaning there. I don't know what it is. BB says, uh, hi to Glenn, Sarah, and Smidgen, and to everyone. Manuel says, Crow, happy Saturday. And he uh, sends, uh, Crow sends us uh, hand waving and uh, uh, roses to Jim. Sarah says, Avery, uh, you have COVID. No, I don't think he has COVID. No, 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 I already had COVID. Yeah, yeah. No, he's 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 got other old man illnesses. Yeah, I... I, I've mentioned it before. I have diverticulitis, and I've yeah. had a bad flare-up. This uh, another bad flare-up, and this usually I'm over it in three to five days. This one's lasted about two weeks, and that's rare. Yeah, I'd say you need to get out more, but I don't think you want to do that, do you? No, no, no. no. Stay home. Stay home. Relax. Yeah, it, it. I just have to eat soft food. Yeah, yeah. Sarah My says, insides are all messed up. Ah, ah. Smidgen says to Sarah, you're having some rain here in, ca 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 in California, too. Oh, boy. Glenn says, got one call Wednesday from David in Rhode Island. He hung up when Betty asked what this was about. So far uh, this week, five calls and no one on the line except for the one with David. Yep, that's about right. I think prior to Friday... For like a th for a period of like three days, I got one call and it was like a twenty second call where I asked the guy a question and they hung up. And I think it was a robo call. To be honest with you, it was a robo call. Um, but yeah, it's been it was very quiet all week long. So 
but luckily for me, I still had plenty of uh, plenty of recordings to be able to share with you guys every day. Actually, I don't have anything new for tomorrow. So what I'll probably have to do is I have already scheduled four videos for the uh, the weekend of the, the wedding. I'll have to move one of them <laughs> to tomorrow so that I won't miss a day. And that just gives me all week in order to fill that that spot in. But um, my goal, my goal, my goal always to you guys is a video a day and a short a day. And if I can do a bonus video, great. If not, you get at least those two videos. But uh, I'm kind of I'm in my mind. I'm committed to making that happen. So I hope you guys enjoy because they're coming. Yeah, actually, I have knowing that I'm not going to be taking any calls on Friday, Saturday or Sunday. I needed to have pre-scheduled videos for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, of course. And I've already got them. They're already in the can. They're already uploaded. They're already on the site, just scheduled to go out those days. Um, so if if tonight nothing else happens, we'll uh, just uh, reschedule one of those days to, to tomorrow, and you guys will be covered. All right, all right. Let's see what else is going on. Star Chaser's here. Hey, Star Chaser, how's it going? Says hello, all. Smidgen says hi to BB. Crow says, uh, Manuel, good to see you again. Laugh out loud. Smidgen says, thank you for seeing the email. Oh, absolutely. There's a lot of interesting information there. I appreciate you sending it to me. Um, but yeah, it's going to take me a little while to go through everything. But I was I was thoroughly fascinated going through that list uh, of all the rules for the do not call list. And if you think of a piece of legislation that our government officials produce, and they do this all the time, where they say, we're doing this for our people, for our for our constituents, for, for the American people. This is going to help relieve everybody from those unwanted scam calls, those unwanted solicitations. Oh, by the way, we're going to write it in that we can call you and solicit for money. But then they can go out and tout. We have this wonderful list. We have this wonderful thing that's going to help the American people and be beneficial to all. And nobody freaking follows it. I remember, I remember when they first announced the national do not call list, a lot of people were like, Oh, I got to get my name and number on that list. I got to get on that. Cause I don't want these crappy calls anymore. Guess what? Doesn't help a, a, a lickety diddly squat. Does it does not. But it, but Smidge and I appreciate the matter of fact, I'll probably share that that uh, website um, on the channel in the in the um, community notes so everybody else can look them up. Uh, it's it's very interesting to see what what's going on there. And I'm, I'm still having there's a lot of information. I haven't gone through it all. But Smidge and I appreciate the uh, the 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 email with, with the dat with the information. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> BB says, I'm so sorry to Sarah. Jim says, hey to Smidgen and Star Chaser. Manuel says, hey to Star Chaser. Muhammad says, hello. Manuel says, I'm very sorry, Sarah. Manuel says, hello to Muhammad. Muhammad says, Rub uh, uh, I guess he's saying um, Manuel's last name. Manuel says, hey, free bird, forever, happy Saturday. <laughs> Muhammad says, I received 100 calls per day. That's a lot. Scammers are disgusting. Yes, they can absolutely be. That's why I don't have a problem messing with them. That's why I don't have a problem wasting their time. In, uh, they're, they're, they're. I, I want to say they're not human, and and it's okay to to mess with them, to scream at them, to yell at them, to 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 waste their time. But technically, they're the lowest form of human. So, yeah. That's actually going to be a subject of a video coming shortly. Just you guys wait. I've got plans for some new and interesting stuff that's going to happen. And uh, we're going we're gonna to delve more into uh, one of the things that me and my guys really like to do. And, and not only is it art, but uh, we, we, we're kind of a fan of animation. And uh, we're planning on uh, having some fun with that. So stay tuned. It's coming. Crow says, uh, whoop, whoop, sorry, lost it. Crow says, they never work. Scammers only commit crimes. In their mind, they're working. In their mind, they're doing a job. They're doing a service to themselves, but they're doing a job. So, 
Manuel says, I watched News 15 in Lafayette talking about IRS war uh, tax return scam. Oh, goodness. Smidgen says, uh, rats, uh, slow calls this week. I was thinking it's because I'm flagged on phone list. The old lady has a court appointed con conservator. <laughs> no, everybody was getting uh, very few calls. And I think it, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know what holidays it was, but I do know there was a holiday or it may have been a couple of holidays happening this past week. So I think we need to mark this on our calendar for next year. We'll know that this is a good time to take a vacation. <laughs> Dave says, hey, hey, Emmanuel. Jim says, they did a two-hour documentary on the show 2020 on OJ and Nicole Thursday. Oh, really? Okay. Burst is in the house. Hey, Burst says, hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. No problem. Uh, sorry it's taken me. Let's see. 27 minutes or actually no i'm only 13 minutes behind no yes 13 minutes behind in reading the chat so sorry it took me so long to get to the chat <laughs> emmanuel says hello to births jim says hey to births uh births says hey to manuel smidgen says uh, uh hi to manuel uh king rat says sounds great okay <laughs> manuel says I, I, uh, I'll wait and watch you live chat, my friend Drew and Avery on YouTube. Well, that's cool. We appreciate you coming in. And he says, hey to King. Uh, B. Bernie B. says, hey to Drew and Avery. Welcome. Welcome to the What's show, up? Bernie B. Glenn says, when they offer to send you free money, you should ask them if they can use it to pay down your student loans that the previous scammers called about. <laughs> you know, I haven't gotten a student loan call in a long time. That's really weird. I, the other one I haven't gotten in a long time either is, well, no, I did get a car insurance uh, call, car insurance call, like within the last few weeks, but they are very few and far between. It's mostly Medicare. It's mostly uh, subsidy calls. It's it's mostly in those veins. So, yeah, they're, they're, that's kind of what they're on a kick with right now. I'm sure there are scam centers out there doing those other ones, but... They're not, they're not as many. So, yeah. So the times change. Manuel says, it was Manuel, my friend, called DJ Manny Fresh. Gotcha. King Rat says, hi there, Manuel. Jim says, hey, to be Bernie B. Manuel says, hey, to be Bernie B. Smidgen says, when our son got married, the music for him and I to dance to was Metallica's Nothing Else Matters. It's a waltz tempo. And the words had meaning to us. That's fantastic. I'm not sure. I, I know my daughter's picking out the song for us. I have no idea what it is. We were we were talking about it the other night, and I she said she said there was one that she had thought of. It was a country song. And I'm like, okay, there's lots of country songs that that have good father, son, I mean father, daughter type connections. Um I was thinking like butterfly kisses or something like that. And I think she went, she kind of put her nose up to that one, which is kind of funny because it's a butterfly kisses in the nose. But needless to say, I'm going to let her pick it and whatever it is, I'll, I'll have a good time. Uh, King Rat says Sunday here in uh, NZL, which I think that's New Zealand, maybe. Yes. Well, fantastic. Glad you're here. BB says, I think that's the way Trump dances. Oh, yeah, we're just shaking the butt. Yeah, yeah, I can, oh, I get, God. I can get down with that. <laughs> Smidgen says, hey to Jim. Manuel says, my nephew's birthday is Thursday the 25th. Well, fantastic. Happy birthday to him. Glenn says, can you give us an example of your dancing? Dancing with the Stars wants you to audition. No, they don't. Yeah, just like uh, the mask singer does not want me to appear on their show either. Trust me, they don't want it. Smidgen says, uh, "Jiggle to the to the beat, and it's all good." Yep, that's exactly what I do. Birth says, "My birthday is the twenty eighth." Well, fantastic! Happy birthday again. That's coming up very soon. Birth says, six, uh, six decades on this earth." Wow, that's fantastic. I've done five. I've done five. Smidgen says, happy birthday, early birthday to births. Burr says, thank you to Smidgen. Manuel says, happy birthday, births, early birthday. Freebird says, it's been, I've been retired for several, seven years. I work nights and still have a hard time sleeping nights. 
Well, see, I'm, I'm, guys, once again, I'm only retiring from one of my four jobs. So <laughs> I still have a couple more I'm going to be doing yeah. <laughs> pretty regularly, you know? Yeah. I have, I have the YouTube channel, which technically I consider a job. I have my, it is. Yeah. Once you're, once you're big enough that you're making something, something it's from it, it's, it's a, job. a job. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the, that particular job is going to expand. There's yeah. And your other, involved. and the, and the other channel is going to get some love. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. You guys know, I have another channel. So it's the one it's misfit corner comics, right? Um, that's the one I, I tend to focus on the store and the stuff going on, but it's also going to expand once again to include my art and the, the work that we're doing on our own comics and so forth. So that channel is going to start getting a lot of love, as Avery said, very shortly. So if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe. Trust me, I'll, I'll, I'll be letting you know about it. Uh, Rose is here. Hey, Rose says uh, Ver Verizon called. I was eligible for an iPhone. I have told me I could text me a link. I, I, I let him know I never open links. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Stan says hello to Manuel. Hey, Tattles here. Hey, Tattles says, I regret to repeat that I was told by Medicare that they mailed me my new card and it was stolen by UPS. <laughs> you know, I still haven't gotten my new card. You know, what's so funny. You guys know I don't have Medicare, but there are people I live with people who do have Medicare and not a single one of them has gotten a new card. So weird. I wonder I wonder if I wonder if they're lying to us when they say they're going to be sending out new cards. I wow, I probably maybe they are. Yeah, yeah. Burr says seems I want that way. It does. It does. It seems like it seems like they're so full of crap, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Berth says I once worked a job where you got to, you got a paid birthday off. You also got a paid Mother's and Father's Day off. If you decided to work it, you got time and a half. Now that's very nice. That's very nice. That's nice of them, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. actually a good policy. See, I um, the current job I'm in. We have a certain set number of, of vacation days that you get, and but it's accrued, which means at the beginning of the year, you only have X number. And as, as the months progress, you get more. And I forgot to check when we moved into April and I got like two extra days that I completely forgot about. And I'm like, oh, crap, I better use those because I mean, I would get paid for them no matter what, because I'd already accrued them. But um, I'd rather use them. I'd rather take the days off. As a matter of fact, I took uh, I took Tuesday off uh, because we have a doctor. My wife has a doctor's appointment at eight fifteen in the morning, <laughs> so I took the whole day off. I said, "Screw it, I'm taking the whole day off." And then I told my wife I have a list of things I need to do before the wedding, and I'm going to do it all on Tuesday. I have to get a new shirt. Um, she wants me to get one that's purple to match her her dress, and I have a I have a uh, what are those things called? Um, it's not a jumper. It's a vest. I have a vest that's purple and a tie that goes with it. So she wants me to get a purple shirt to go with it so that I match her, which that's the way it's supposed to be, right? The, hus the, the husband's supposed to match the wife, you know? But uh, yes, very excited. But I'm going to go take care of that no later than Tuesday. So I have a, I have a list of stores that she wants me to go to. Because I went to Walmart and they didn't have crap. Walmart selection sucks. They had white shirts and blue shirts and that was it. Nothing else. So I got to go someplace else and probably spend three times as much for a damn shirt I'm going to wear one time. But that's what you do. Yeah, check Amazon. Yeah, that was the other thing she suggested. But I don't know if I want to wait till the last minute. But <laughs> considering how it is literally the last minute... Oh, that's how I live yeah. my life with the seat of my pants. So, I, for all the problems and things you can criticize Jeff Bezos for, and Amazon, damn, yeah. is it convenient to be like, I want this. Oh, it'll be here in two days. That's true. That's true. As a matter of fact, as soon as I get off this call with you guys, I'm going to uh, look and see what they have available. If I can get it, if I can get it, because we have a we have a um, an Amazon. Um, distribution site here in Jacksonville, you can yeah. literally get stuff the very next day. You know, I, most most of the time, that, well, when my we were sitting down, we were we were working on the plans to get the cake taken care of, and I asked my daughter, I said, "Do you have 
plans for a topper. And I don't, I think I probably, I don't know if I told you guys the story or not, but she had planned to make one. And I said, okay, well, have you done it yet? And she goes, no, not yet. And uh, I said, well, we need to have a backup in case you don't get around to it. So I pulled out my phone and I'm starting scrolling through and she and the wife are talking, making plans and I'm scrolling through my phone. And I, I looked at like several different things. And then I found one that was just gorgeous. And I said, Hey, what do you think of that? And she goes, order that for me. <laughs> and I Perfect. did. And the order we, we ordered it, I believe on the first and it said it would be delivered between like the six and the 10th. And I'm like, that's, that's still plenty of time. It's still plenty of time. It was literally at our doorstep on the third. It was there. It, we had it two yeah. days later, you know, so hats off to Amazon. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Manuel says, uh, hey to tattle. Burr says, thank you to Manuel. BB says, uh, my cat Rosie's won't let me sleep late, but that's, that's just fine. Yeah, my, it's, believe it or not, it's my wife's cat. The one I call Big Butt, he's the one that is always, Big he's butt. in my room, he's sitting right next to me, meowing, uh -huh. and he's all, he's also one of those ones that if he can't get your attention, he will reach out and, like, just grab you until you wake up, so. Yeah. Crow, say, Crow says, uh, Ted the Teddy Bear dancing, it was a fun, congratulations on retirement, thank you, sir. <laughs> Smidgen says, I watched your videos and Judge Middleton middleton live in michigan when i when i'm up early oh okay cool cool sarah says uh where are you going on the, on their honeymoon um i think they're going on a uh a cruise to either bahamas or, or nassau neither one of them have ever been on a cruise before so this is going to be their first time but uh yeah they're 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 going on a cruise so and then what's so funny is they're taking the uh, the Carnival cruise out of Jacksonville. We have it. We actually literally over the bridge. We have a a, uh, a cruise line terminal, and uh, they leave on Thursday. They come back on Monday, and my wife and I go on Monday and leave for our cruise, taking the same exact boat. So it's always fun. Uh, Chris is here. Hey, Chris. <laughs> it says greetings. Cool channel. All my all my work friends are coming in this evening. Welcome, oh, Chris. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sarah's in the house again. She says, "I is she nervous? Who, my daughter? Actually, no, what's so funny? I was actually talking to her the other day. I said, are you nervous? And she's like, no, not really. And I'm like, okay, good. I mean, I think she's more excited to finally get it over with than she is worried about it. And I asked her, I said, is it like... Is it like a rule that before the dad walks the daughter down the aisle, he's supposed to give her that, hey, this is your last chance. You want me to help you run out the back door type thing? Give her that option. And she's looking at me like, what are you talking about? Like, what insane thing are you talking about? And I said, I don't know. I've never I've never walked anybody down the aisle before. This is my first time. This is, you know, I've only ever done it myself once. So I don't know. <laughs> Wesley's in the chat. I was he's there. Yeah, he says, he says, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, thank you, Wesley. Another co-worker joining the chat. Uh, Manuel says, greetings to Christopher. BB says, oh, I spell a, I spell it Rosie's, but it's pronounced Ro-Z, or just like Rosie. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Berth says, uh, I got a life insurance scam call who said he was from Miami, Florida. And I said, oh, yeah, only 45 minutes away from me. And I live in Kansas City, Missouri. And he said, yes, he is. That's sad. That's sad. I mean, Miami, Kansas City. I mean, come on. Oh, well, good one, Burst. Good one. Crow says, uh, thank you for the comments. Uh, you are much appreciated. Excellent. Manuel says, hey to Wesley. Uh, Annabelle is here, says, guys, turn on your television. Iran just attacked NATO. Oh, shit. Really? Junior says, hey, Drew. Welcome, Junior. Christopher says, uh, happy Saturday, Manuel. Manuel says, hey, to Drew, uh, to Junior. Junior says, hey, to Manuel. Yuri's in the chat, says, hello. Welcome, Yuri. Burr says, hey, to Yuri. Manuel says, hello, Yuri. Happy Saturday. Michael's here, says, hey. We've got a lot of new faces in here this evening. 
Michael says, appreciate Iran. Uh, apparently, Iran just launched missiles on Europe and USA. Uh, guys, I don't know if you can smell it here or not, but I call BS on that. I'm fairly certain if something like that was happening, my phone would be going crazy. As a matter of fact, uh, let me just check the phone real quick. It might be. I, I, it might be true. I mean, I, I, I'm not a big fan of NATO. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, uh, Glenn says, quote, I'm from the government. I'm here to help you. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, most terrifying words in the English language. Michael says, uh, be safe out there, guys. Iran are attacking. Okay. Michael. Michael, Michael, even I know some very basic grammar in the English language. And be safe out there, guys. Iran are attacking NATO. Good try, but that's not... Oh, you almost got it. You almost got it. Ah, oh, you can always tell when... You can always tell when English is their second language. Um, Sarah, Glenn, if you guys are out there... You mind uh, booting some of these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, you know what I mean. Yuri says, uh, check the news, everyone. Okay. Crow says, uh, I, I think, I, morality. I, yeah, I think they might have uh, launched an attack at Israel, drones and missiles. Oh, really? That's yeah, not maybe. Europe or the U.S., guys. Guys, I swear to God, if World War Three is starting right now while I'm in the middle of my stream, I'm going to be pissed. You know, because this is important to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yuri says, Iran are at war with U.S. Yuri, uh, yeah, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that both Yuri and Michael are using the same incorrect grammatical. Yeah, you know what I mean? Anybody out there who I who I consider sane and intelligent, check and see and let me know if anything else is going on, because uh Crazy guys. Manuel says, uh, Michael, happy Saturday. Tattle says, the number of scam callers has dropped significantly in the last couple of weeks. I was getting about 30 a day, now about 12. That's a three phone numbers, and that's not counting the 10 second hang ups. Yep, that was going on a lot this week, and I think it had a lot to do with uh, with holidays in India. And I don't know if it if it was in Pakistan or the Philippines as well, but it was definitely there was definitely some holidays happening in India. Darlene's in the house. Says hello to everyone. Welcome, Darlene. Rose says so. I'm on the .net call list. The do not call list. Did I actually say .net? Damn. That's. I tell you what. My eyes are are. I'm. I'm literally going blind it says i'm on the do not call list so all unrecognized calls are scammers makes sense to me gotcha gotcha all right let's see manual says uh hey to darlene burr says hey to darlene i'm gonna skip a couple of these uh free bird says thank you to manuel manual says hello to rose darlene says uh had a late dinner tonight that's all right we are you're more than welcome uh, John says, Google search Iran missiles, guys, and be safe. Oh, hold on a second. Once again, Google search Iran missiles, guys, and be safe. Still, you guys are, so, even I, and I'm Avery, who is probably the worst person when it comes to speaking or writing the English language in your that you know of? Is it not my myself? Is it not uh -huh. me? And even I know Google search Iran missiles guys and be safe is not grammatically correct. You know, John, John Boston. I love all these new people that want to try. Yeah, to, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I ran launched a bunch of missiles and drones at, uh, at uh, Israel. Oh, really? OK. Yeah. Well, they were talking about that last week, weren't they? <sighs> they're right. they're going to get smoked. Yep. Manuel says hello to John. Uh, let's see. I'm going to skip a couple of these. Burst says, uh, BB says, hey to births. Uh, uh, Burst says, when I got scam calls on my text now number, I tried to make them regret they ever called me. Very good. Burst says, hey to BB. Stacy's in the house. Stacy says, hey, Drew. Or hi, Drew. Hey, Stacy. <laughs> hi, chat. 
Jim says, I noticed that these scammers always calling about the Spectrum cable or their Comcast Xfinity cable, but they never go after Optimum or Verizon cable. You know, I've never heard them do Optimum. I have heard Comcast. And well, Comcast is very um, prevalent in my part of town, in, 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 in Jacksonville. So the fact that they call claiming to be that from them is not unusual. But Spectrum's not even available in Jacksonville. Which, which is crazy why they always call. So, Manuel says hello to Stacy. Smidgen says, Government news, Newsom, uh, Nuisance signed a law that fast food workers are now making $20 an hour as a 4-1, but it doesn't apply to his restaurant. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That, once again, that, once again, is the government and people doing for you what they won't do for themselves or doing for everybody that they don't have to do that for themselves. Darlene says, I got a Facebook usual military lonely widower scam. Oh goodness. Uh, now from what I understand, those romance scams are very much a big thing right now. I'm of course not involved in anything like that or even try to be, but um, I do know people who have been involved and gotten involved in those things. And that's one hell of a nasty way to get taken advantage of, you know? Hey, Avery, I don't know if I told you about um, um, Kodiak was telling me, he was sending me some screenshots of one of the dating sites that he'd been on recently, and he'd gotten reached out to by somebody claiming to be from Jacksonville. And whenever he would ask a question Jacksonville related, like, hey, have you ever been to this bar in this part of town? The person would always reply with ah, ha ha and then would never answer any questions regarding anything he asked about regarding to where he lives and where they yeah. live. And it's like, he's like, Oh, come on. You guys could, could try harder, but he's like, I know this is fake. I know this is somebody just trying to screw yeah. with me, you know, but it's it from, it's very prevalent nowadays. It's a, it's a, just another way for people to contact other people and to take advantage of them. So if you guys are ever on a dating site or a social networking site where you're talking to people who you do not know, please be careful. Please be careful. You know? Huh. Stacy says, hey to Manuel. Manuel says, uh, you're very welcome to Stacy. Darlene says, older sister and oldest niece birthday is Tuesday. Wow, they have they have the same birthday? That's cool. All right, very good. Glenn says, uh, daughter flight back from Dallas canceled. Mechanical issues. Oh, goodness. Second flight canceled. No pilot. Third flight delayed one hour. Unruly passenger thrown off. No more Frontier for her. I've never traveled Frontier before. I, I've, I've, I don't think I've ever heard either good or bad things about that airline, but obviously there's a lot of problems going on, Glenn. Jeez Louise. Stacy says hello to Glenn. Tattle says, scammers told me he was from my utility company. I gave I gave him name of serial killer and fake address. He said that he was looking at my file. Very, very good. Very good, Tattle. I always, I always find it funny when they call and they say they're calling from my utility company or from something. And I and they say, what is your name? Or I ask them who they're calling for and they give out or I give out one of my fake names. And they're like, yes, I'm looking at your account. I'm like, perfect. You guys, you guys just, just there's, there's only one other way to confirm that you are a scammer. And, and that's by opening your mouth. But I love it when they confirm that they are a scammer. When they say they're calling for Timothy or they're, they're looking at my account and they're, they're talking and they're, and they're asking to talk to Carl. It's like, guys, you just, you just you just literally if you would have started the call by saying hi my name's michael and i'm a scammer i would have been okay with that but you guys found another way to prove to me that you're a scammer and you're full of crap i love it when they say we're looking at your account we're looking at your file you know it's like good job guys good job thank you thank you Smidgen says uh, to Michael, um, Michael Cluster, hubby is watching CNN and I'm watching it too. All right, well, let me know what's happening. I'll get to it eventually. Stacy says, hey to Tattle and hi to Darlene and to Jim. 
And Darlene says, my son gets a few weeks of vacation. That's good. It's, it's good to have a job that has vacation. My daughter, she's very lucky. The, the company that she works for, um, she's like, I, I don't know her official title, but it's very much like accounting. Um, but they have customers, their, their company has customers all over the world. And so they have, um, they get their, their invoices and whatnot at all hours of the day. She could literally have something come in at two o'clock in the morning and so forth. So they allow them to work whenever they need to work. And if they have to take a, a day off or if they have to, you know, something's come up and they need a day off. They're like, whatever, as long as you get your job done, as long as you're there for the customers when they need you there, it it's they are not to where it's like nine to five every day. Don't you dare log in early. Don't you dare stay after because we don't want to pay overtime. Her, her, the company that she works for is so flexible. And I think that's fantastic in this current economy, you know, to have a job that's willing to, you know, understand what they need and what their customers need and also understand what their employees need. I mean, that's, it's just a really good thing. And I, I think it's fantastic. She's very happy there. She's doing the job and she loves it. And uh, she's, she's, she can be flexible, but that also means that if she's working at 10 o'clock at night, trying to get something done, that's when she's working. You know, for me, when my job's over at nine, uh, over at nine, <laughs> I'm dreaming when my job's over at five, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to, ha I'm ready to, 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 to get on and, you know, do, do whatever else I have to do, but it's very lucky. Uh, Jim says, scammers called me last week and asked if my name and I told him loved unlimited orchestra and he hung up. <laughs> Stacy says, laugh out loud. Uh, Finn's here. Hey, Finn says, hey, I think I'm getting, I, I think I am going to get a girlfriend, a real one, not one of those phone calls. This might be good. Well, good luck with that, Finn. You, you, you never know. It could be, it could be, it could be life changing to you. You know, you never know. Jim says, uh, uh, sends a smiley face to Stacy. Darlene says, uh, we keep Amazon in business. <laughs> My daughter was telling me that for a time, uh, where they lived, it was like really difficult to get, to get out and go to the, to the store. It was easier just to order stuff from Amazon. And she said the, the Amazon delivery person loved to deliver like toilet paper rolls, you know, cause that's, it's light and easy, but they hated it when you ordered cat litter. <laughs> I've never ordered cat litter a day in my life from Amazon. I always go to the grocery store and just get it. Yeah. But they would, they would have it delivered all the time. Paper towels, toilet paper, that kind of stuff. No problem. DD's here. DD says, Jim, don't be, don't do Barry white like that. Oh goodness. Jim says, I am sure you have a men's store in your area. Kohl's has a good selection of men's dress shirts. They do. I literally have a Kohl's right down the street for me. I honestly can't remember the last time I was there. But, I mean, that's Monday morning. Monday morning or Tuesday. Tuesday is the day I'm going to get stuff done. Tuesday's the day. I'm going to go on Amazon after this call, see what they got. And if, if there's nothing that jumps out at me and says... Uh, Buy me, buy me, buy me now. I'm, I'm, I'll go. I'll take your recommendation and go check out Coles. Thank you, Tim. Jim says uh, uh, to DD, uh, a bunch of happy smiley faces. Stacy says hi to births. Tattle says there are several Indian holidays in the two uh, in the first two weeks of April. That does explain a lot. Smidgen says I shop Amazon all the time, but I've learned long ago order things for special events in advance. It took six weeks to get one pair of fancy little girl socks for confirmation. Really? Oh wow! Yeah, I know my wife. She ordered her dress online, and she actually ordered like five different dresses, and she got the one she liked. Actually, she kept two of them and sent the rest of them back. But she did that weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Yeah, me. I I buy all my art supplies that way off on Amazon. Really? I, I I honestly haven't bought any art supplies in a while, but and here's what makes it great: yeah. when it's tax time, you can go into your orders and look at everything you bought that year. Well, and there's I, there's a, a receipt basically. I keep I keep very anal records of all my all my spending, so that that wouldn't yeah. be an issue for me. Yeah, I'm I'm probably I probably be, have better bookkeeping than than Amazon does. 
maybe. Yeah, but you could, but it also makes it easy for like, what was what brand of pin was that? You just go through your orders. There it is. Order yep. again. Order, order again. again. That's right. That's right. Except when yeah. they change the price. Except when they change the price of stuff. You know. And yeah. It, yeah. But because but all these brush pins I've been using, they're phenomenal. I'll be buying them all again. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, the, the the calligraphy brush pens are the bomb. Don't buy the ones for artists. Oh, buy the calligraphy I, ones. They're friggin' I, rad. Can I ever show you what my wife my wife bought me this for for Christmas? It is a water water. Ooh, let's see if you can actually see that. A water brush pen set. Uh-huh. So eventually okay. I'll open it up and maybe use it. But yeah, you can fill those full of ink. Well, you know me. Or, I like I like putting water and ink in them and using them like uh, watercolor yeah. washes and so forth. So yeah, yeah, I have a whole new stack of ones to use and literally. You know, had you know what? Money. You know what looks awesome? What's that? Add a brush. Those type of brush pens. Fill it full of the Copic ink. Buy the Copic ink that you refill the markers with. Oh, I still I still have several of those. I never used them. They're around here yeah. somewhere. Yeah, you know they get the they got the big canister. We can squirt the refill. Yeah, fill yep. those with that for your gray tones or something. It's Ooh. rad. Ooh, I may have to play with that. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun really, really soon. Yeah. Manuel says uh, to DD, "Happy Saturday." Stacy says, "Hey to Finn." DD says, "Thank you to Manuel." Stacy says, "Hey to DD." Darlene says, "We hardly go to Cole's store. Very expensive." Okay. Well, I haven't been there in a long time. Gosh, I can't. Last time I was at a Kohl's, I was actually looking for a tie for my father-in-law's funeral, and that was three years ago. And that's literally right down the street from us. So, Manuel says, hey to Finn. Dee Dee says, hey to Stacy. Crow says, I'm a, I'm a woman, Drew, not a sir. Laugh out loud, not a problem. I've been called much worse. Well, how was I supposed to know? You know? But thank you, Crow. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Stacy says, hey to Crow. Crow says, uh, Stacy, hi there. Dee Dee says to Crow, the scammers usually call me sir, and I'm not. Well, you know how many times how many times I've I've had a call in which they've asked for Jennifer and I say and I've claimed to be Jennifer and they're like, okay, and just go with it. I guess I have I guess I have a do I have a lady sounding voice? I've been called ma'am many, many times. And uh, unless I really want to make an issue out of it, I really don't care. Whatever. Crow says, Dee Dee, uh, he, he, they don't listen, do they? Um, yeah. Spidgen says, uh, when I got married, the minister forgot to ask the who gives this woman part. My dad was afraid later that I wasn't legally married almost 50 years now. So I think it's okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what happened? The day... Raphael proposed to my daughter. I'm standing there. It was it was Christmas Day. It was we were all at my parents' house and we, was, we were celebrating Christmas. He got down on one knee and pro proposed and everything. And I'm looking at them, and all I could think to myself was, "Wait a minute, wasn't there supposed to be a part that I was involved with beforehand? Wasn't there wasn't there some permission needed first part of this whole process?" And I did ask them about it later, and my daughter was like, "Yeah, Dad, we did that ahead of time. You, that was like months before." And I'm like, "Oh, okay. I must have just forgot." Oh well, that's just the way it goes. Stacy says, "Hey to Yuri." Smidgen says, "No, it's Israel's that's getting the drone strikes." Okay, well, so there is something really going on right now. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I told you. Crow says, "Check on the trolls." Okay. Dee Dee says, Crow, no, they don't listen, but I'll let you know what the effed up. Got Get a new script. Nigel is here. Hey, it says, EID religious holiday. Pakistan scammers were not calling. See, I knew that was happening. Okay. Glenn says, Yuri blocked 24 hours. Okay, good. Thank you, sir. Tattle says, scammers are clueless about U.S. geography. Had a solar scammer claim to be con um, com commuting from Texas to New York for work. Yeah, it sounds about right. I do that all the time. Yeah, that's 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 too far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nigella says Islamic holiday. I knew there was didn't didn't Ramadan just recently end? 
Wasn't that? But I mean, I got calls I during Ramadan, so I don't think they take that off from work. But maybe. Nigella says, uh, "Great job, Glenn, blocking trolls." Thank you. Phoebe says, "Iran launched missiles and drones at Israel." Did just Google it? Okay. Yeah, they were talking about that last week about Iran was threatening. Um, that is not them attacking Europe and the U.S. guys. So that part was was definitely BS. Manuel says hi to Nigella. Crow says uh, Iran allegedly sent drones to attack Israel as retaliation for Israel killing two generals. Well, I think uh, I think as long as we step back and let Israel do what they need to do, they'll take care of what they need to take care of. Hopefully, not drag us into it, but you never know. Um, people, there are people out there that do like war and do like it when we get involved. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Deep breath, deep breath. Nigella says, uh, mainly Pakistan. Okay. Shay says, hello, amazing humans. Hello, Shay. Thank you so much for joining. Rose says, the breaking news on YouTube is Iran attack drones uh, were launched. NBC News Live. Okay. Well, definitely going to have to tune in, find out what's going on. Freebird says, Fox News Live says, Iran launched swarms of drones at Israel. I bet you Israel can handle drones. You know what I mean? Uh, from what I saw, they sh they say they're saying they shot most of them down. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I don't I'm know. Fairly, didn't Israel have like the Iron Dome or something, or am I thinking of something else? Where they 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 handle barrages of missiles all the time. So yeah, yeah. They they have they have missile defense. I'm fairly certain all you're going to do is piss them off. You know, at least you know thoughts with all of them and you know hopefully no 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 innocent people get hurt but all you're doing is going to piss people off and you know oh well all right no more politics well world events isn't politics that's world events but you know you know what i mean yeah stacy says uh retract high from yuri laugh out loud oh <laughs> it's all right it's all right finn says world war three started with the russian ukraine invasion this is the next step well it's always little pieces, you know, until it gets big, and it will. Darlene says LOL to Stacy. Stacy says hi to Shay. Manuel says hey to Shay. Sarah says I had butterfly kisses as my father, as father daughter. Okay, okay. Well, that that was a song that I, I fairly certain that song came out before my daughter was born. So I well maybe not. Maybe it was after. But I remember really liking the song. I don't like the remix version where they have the people singing in the background. I don't know if you guys have heard the version. There's multiple versions of that song. The original version is the one I like the best, where it's just the girl singing. It, where it's just the lady singing. It. But there's one where there's like people, like like almost like a choir in the background for the remix. And it's like, oh, I don't really like that one. But Glenn says, I did a Google search. Iran did launch against Israel. Okay, all right. Stacy says, hey to Sarah. Burst says, scammers usually love to cuss me out because when they talk I to me, I spend more trying to correct their grammar and then making them say a completely correct sentence. That's funny. That's funny. I mean, I honestly don't have a leg to stand on when it comes to speaking correct grammar, but there are things I do recognize and can see plainly. And Because when you read it out loud, you know it's not right. So you know the person you know English is probably not their first primary language, so. Oh, well. Darlene says, I got A's in spelling, grammar, and math. Well, good for you. I was always, I always sucked at spelling and grammar. Math and science, I was good with, eventually. I was horrible at Algebra 1. I was okay with Algebra 2, but it started clicking for me with trig and analytical geometry. I got into that class, and I loved it. And then, of course, I did AP Calculus, and I was too busy running after teenage girls at that time to pay attention to class. So I almost failed that one, but I enjoyed it. That's, that's, that's about the time girls became a, a, a focus for me. And uh, I lost all track of school. School became very unimportant to me, but that happens with a lot of guys. Nigella says, romance scams from a Nigeria or Nigeria in Cyprus. Nigerians in Cyprus. Okay. Stacy uh, says, uh, Jacksonville. I love it. Oh, yeah. You're more than welcome anytime. 
a huge thing, Drew. Okay. <laughs> Manuel says, I watch videos of Vicky and Benji about uh, Facebook scammers this afternoon. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Stacy says, romance scammers are so nasty and narcissists. That's usually that that usually explain that usually describes a lot of scammers out there. Tattle says I've gotten optimum scam calls and emails. Optimum is my provider. I look at the caller ID and sender address to determine if it's a scam. You guys have no idea how many times my phone says scam likely or scam possible. It happens all the time. Love it. Smidgen says, Mustang is celebrating its 60th anniversary on April 17th. I'm a Mustang girl. Love driving ours. Wow, fantastic. Nigella says, Utility cutoff. Utility cutoff, Dominic Republic. Okay. Stacy says, I watched Catfish catfished and it's terrible. Some even commit suicide after being scammed. That, that that does happen. That does absolutely happen. Manuel says, I watched the catfish on Wednesday and Thursday morning. Okay. Is that the is that the MTV show? Because I think I've seen it. It was on the TV when I was in the hospital with my wife several, several months ago. When we were in the emergency room. It was like the only thing that was on. That was a really weird show. Crow says, Stacey O'Brien and I created huge family rifts. Oh, boy. And it created huge family rifts. Stacy says, it sure does, Crow. Sarah says, try TJ Maxx or Marshalls for a shirt. They are colored ones. My husband got a purple shirt from Men's Wardrobe. Now, we do have a, we do have a, like a Burlington Coat Factory, and that was another place I was going to check, but I'm definitely going to check Kohl's, literally, because it's right down the street. Crow says, did Nigella the entire country? Question mark. Stacy says, Crow, some uh, have lost family for good. Uh, than no romance as well. It's so sad. ADY is here. Says, yo, Drew, yo, gang from the UK. My dad took a scam call once and said, hello, this is Battersea Dog's home. They hung up and never called again. Oh, wow. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> Manuel says, hey, to ADY, happy Saturday. Actually, Sunday. Because, uh, oh, actually, no, is it? The UK, it's, yeah, it's like two o'clock in the morning over there right now. So technically, it's Sunday for him. Glenn says, what was Jeffrey Dahmer's favorite song? Every time you go away, you take a piece of me with you. Oh, that's bad. That's a good, that's a good dad joke, Glenn. Wonderful. BB says, hey to Dee Dee. Uh, um, key from BB. <laughs> ADY says, yo to Manuel. It's Sunday morning. Yep, yep. Sunday now. Jim says, yo to ADY. ADY says, yo to Jim. Stacy says, send smiley faces to Glenn. Manuel says, oh, I'm very sorry, ADY. Happy Sunday morning. ADY says, it's okay. Stacy says, hey to ADY. ADY says, hey to Stacy. Smidgen says to Glenn, uh, Dahmer ruined the enjoyment of my favorite comic, Crypt Keeper. Oh, really? Ugh. Tattle says, Medicare scammers told me I was. Uh, it was a recorded line. I asked how I can be absurd. Assured. Absurd assured that this recording of my my private info will be kept safe and he hung up you know most you'd think they'd be able to lie better than that you know instead of just hanging up but sometimes that's all they can do uh glass bottles here says low ian e welcome welcome to the show darlene says i have two major uh craft stores here i get mostly oil paints and canvases well we have we have hobby lobby and we have michael's those are the two stores that we have. I think, well, don't we? We also have a Joann's too, but I can't what, remember the last time. Uh, what about that art store in San Marco? Oh, it's not there anymore. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that I was the think. place to go to get the professional stuff, some that of the was, professional stuff. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of people ended up just ordering it online, and I think that's it's why better. it closed down. So, yeah, yeah. All right, Stacy says, Hey, to glass bottle. Jim says, you got to be the next Bob Ross painting and drawing. <laughs> no, I'm better. I'm better. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not better. But uh, it's I, I don't paint. I've never been very good with paint. But I do love to draw. Pencils and ink, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Manuel says, my, my side glass bottle, uh, happy Saturday night. Jim says, hey, to glass bottle. Rose says, I like using watercolor pencils and then use wa uh, water brush tip pens. Honestly, I take those brush pens 
and fill them with water and Indian ink. So it becomes like a gray, uh, watered down gray. And I use that for a lot of like background and touch up stuff. And, uh, if you, if you take those pens, I have one pen, I don't know where it's at. It's around here somewhere where I have jammed that thing so many times the bristles are like this, but it makes great for like clouds and trees and, 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 and gray foliage. It's perfect for that. But the, you look at the, you look at it and you go, Oh my gosh, what would you use this for? And I go, I, I love it. Use it for everything. Nigella says a uh, tattle. Uh, they are, they are from, raw lapini city pakistan okay ady says yo to glass bottle ady says a hey to crow crow says uh uh pink hand waving to uh glass bottle uh tim says i bought a new shirt from the men's store correct sizing will make the shirt easy to wear that is true that is true manual says hey to glass bottle Glenn says, always give scammers my Uncle Joe's address, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C., 20500. You know, I used to tell them 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Jacksonville, Florida. And I had a guy call me out one time and says, wait a minute, you don't live at the White House. I said, well, the White House isn't in Jacksonville, dummy. But, oh, well. Glass, uh, glass ball says if Pakistan drops some bombs on India and the scam uh, and the scam calls will dramatically slow down. Yep, that's true. Christine is here. Christine says, hello, all welcome to the show. Manuel says last year, many people got scammed, uh, in 2023 by tax return scam. Mostly people lost lots of money. Yeah, well, the, the tax return scams have been going on for, for forever. So that's that's a very common common one where people take advantage of people and their filings, you know, or file as them and try to get their return. So that's really something the government should do a lot better with, but they don't. Christina says, "Who is going to vote uh, for the Liberty in Laundry Act? Liberty in Laundry Act? Laundry Act? I don't know. I don't know which one that is, Christina. I'm not sure." Crow says to Glenn, uh, or address the FBI headquarters. Well, I like the address I give them. So, um, Stacy says hi to Christina. Uh, Glass Bottle says never teach a scammer correct English. Well, you know, that's only if they're they're smart enough to learn from it. You could tell them stuff. That doesn't mean they're going to pay attention and learn from it. Glenn says seventy nine today, eighty eight forecast tomorrow. Snow forecast for next Saturday. Typical Colorado weather. Actually, it's supposed to get down into the fifties. One of these nights very soon, which that will be wonderful. It'll be back up to the 80s and 90s in no time, but a nice night in the 50s would be fantastic here. Tattle says Catfish is a YouTube channel that focuses on romance scammers, often from Nigeria. There was a Catfish show on MTV, though. That's the one I'm familiar with, but if there's a YouTube channel, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there is. Darlene says New Hampshire is very picturesque picturesque love the mountains wonderful uh tarkorf is here this is a youtube channel catfish on wednesdays part of roma okay okay well, i've never seen it i saw the one that was on mtv tarkor says romance scam calls okay manual says hey to tarkor and thumbs up and and rock fingers darlene says we have michaels and hobby lobby are joanne's closed I don't do Joann's that often. My wife and my mother did. Where me, I'm Hobby Lobby for a lot of stuff and Michael's for pretty much everything else. And anything else I can't get there, I just order online. I know Avery does too. So, uh, Imid says, hi everyone. Wish you happy Saturday night. Welcome to the show. We are getting ready to wrap up. So, Christina says, Drew, do you, do, do you commission artwork? That's a good question. It may happen. Right now... No, I haven't taken any commissions in many years just simply because I had so many projects in front of me that were so far behind. I could not, but there's a good chance it may happen again soon. No, I'm, I can't do any commitments, but trust me, you guys will be the first ones to know when something like that happens. I'm pretty much going to tell you guys anything that happens. So trust me, you guys will be the first ones to know. Manuel says uh, to Emad, uh, happy Saturday. And hello to Christine. 
Christina. Darlene says, we live in the White House, not the White House. Laugh out loud. That's good. <laughs> Glass Bottle says, scam baiters and tons of people having been uh, slowing scammers down. <sighs> not going to stop them. Not going to stop them. Going to have fun doing it, though. Glenn says, hey, you caught up. I know. I'm almost there. Crow says, in Florida, haven't had to turn on the AC on since September, since November. Unbelievable. Had more insulation blown into the attic. Okay, very good. And last but not least, Tattle says, I ask scammers where they learn to speak English. They never tell me. Well, that's because they still don't know it. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. I got caught up. Woo, woo. Drew's in the house. He's fantastic. He does it. He did. Yay, yay. Okay. All right, everybody. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend. I hope everybody stays safe. If the world around us is going to hell, just know we're here for each other. And uh, I don't think, and just like cockroaches, scammers will continue to call people and harass them and try to steal your money. So don't worry. They're going to keep calling. Uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Have a fantastic week. I will see you all next Sunday. Not Saturday, but next Sunday. And as always, remember, if you get calls like the ones I get, either hang up on them or screw with them like I do. And if you do screw with them, try to record it and share it with everybody. Remember the golden rule. Screw and share. Everybody have a fantastic <laughs> week. It's never going away. I love it too much. It's never going away. All right, everybody. Peace. Y'all be good. Bye, guys. And Avery, as always, thank you so much for joining me. You're you're my rock, dude. I appreciate you. Yeah. Being here.